Within this lesson, we'll be learning about how to explain remainders by using place value, understanding, and models. Let's start with this problem here. We have 43 divided by 3. What disks will you draw to represent 43? Right, four tenths and three ones. So we'll make a place value chart where it is that we have tens and we have ones. And we'll draw four tens, like we just said, and three ones. So we just modeled 43. How many groups will we divide 43 into? Well, it said to divide it by 3, so we're dividing into three groups. Go ahead and draw three groups here. So we have one group, two groups, and three groups. What are we going to divide first? Right, those four tens. How many tens will be within each group? Right, just one within each group with how many remaining? One. What do we do with the remaining ten? We unbundle it. So we will unbundle it as how many ones? Ten ones. All right. Now what do we do? We have 13 ones there, and we're dividing those 13 ones now into three groups. That's three, six, nine, 12. So we're left with our remainder there of one. And within each of these groups, we have one ten with four ones. So that 43 divided by 3 is 1 with a 4, 14, with the remainder of 1. Again, within each of these groups, there's one ten with four ones. That's why we have that as our quotient of 14, and then our remainder of 1 was right here. So we used our place value chart to describe this equation. What would, how would we check our answer? Well, we're checking 14. We'll multiply it by 3. 3 times 4 is 12. 2, regroup of 1. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4. And then what do we have to do with our remainder? Right, we add it back in. And it does check, because 43 is here, and 43 is what it is that I had started with. Here we're asked to share $68 equally between four friends. Let's draw our place value chart, where we have tens and we have ones. How many tens are within that number? Right, six, so we draw six tens. And how many ones? Right, there are eight. And we're dividing it up between four friends. So how many groups are there? Right, four. So we have one, two, three, and four. We'll start in the what place? Right, the six, or the six ten dollar bills. And then we're gonna try and Share six $10 bills equally. In sharing six $10 bills equally, each person first gets one $10 bill. But then we still have two more $10 bills that we cannot share equally. What do we do? <laughs> right, we make change from those two. We can change them. We'll change one of those $10 bills into 10 ones. And we'll change the other $10 bill into 10 ones. Okay. 
So, how many ones do I have now? Well, I had 20 that I unbundled there, and I had started with 8, so I actually have 28. I'm taking that 28, and I'm sharing it equally amongst those groups. One dollar there for each group, another dollar for each group, where I'm taking those 28 and dividing them. As I continue that work, I will end up with 7 within each of those groups, because 7 divided by, <clears throat> that is 28 divided by, 28 divided by 4 does give me 7. Those 28 $1 bills divided by 4 does give me 7 within each of those groups. So within each of the groups, I have one $10 bill and seven $1 bills, meaning I have the number 17 and $17. So each receives $17. Let's run a check. If each person did have $17, Four people would have what? Well, it would be $17 times 4. 4 times 7 is 28, so I place an 8 and regroup a 2. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 2 is 6. So that's the $68 that I had started with that I was sharing between four friends. Okay, it's your turn to try. Two friends share $36. How do they share the money evenly? Do start with the place value chart. When we model the $36, let's model it with what? Did you pause the video and do your work already? Hope so. Three tens. And how many ones were there to start with? Right, six ones. When we were dividing those $10 bills, we had two friends that were trying to divide it. So they each got one $10 bill. What did we do with the other one? We made change to make it into 10 ones. Together with those 10 ones, with the six that we had, we had 16 ones. And we were taking those 16 ones and then we were dividing it two at a time because we had two friends to divide it between. When we took 16 and we divided it by two, we would end up getting eight within each of those groups. So that we had this 110 along with eight ones. Running a check. If you didn't run it yet, please take a moment to do so. Does 18 times two equal 36? Two times eight is 16, a six regroup a one. Two times one is two, plus one is three. So. $18 times 2 does give us $36, which was the amount that we were sharing. Here we're asked for you to try to find the remainder and to show the remainder for 67 divided by 4. Remember to use a place value chart to begin with and to unbundle when it is that you need to unbundle. Pause that video while you do your work. All right, first let's model 67 as six tens and seven ones. Next, we'll go ahead and draw our groups. In this case, we're drawing four groups because we are dividing by four. We'll start in the tens place where we were able to put one ten into each of those groups. What we were left with and our remainder was two and two tens, which we can unbundle at that point as 10 for each 10, 10 ones for each 10. Next, we're taking all of those ones and we're dividing them by four, where we had 10, 20, 27. So we're taking 27 and dividing it by four, three, four, one, two, three, four. 
This is like that process of counting by four. When I do this properly, you will notice that I end up with my remainder of three. And so I have one, two, and three. So I had 67, I was dividing by four. There was a one to begin with there. Six minus four is two. Bring down the seven. 27 divided by four. Six. Six times four is 24, and 27 minus 24 is three. And that was our remainder of three that I got. And yes, when I read that right from the place value chart, I have a one there, along with six ones, which is 16. One ten, six ones. So we can interpret our remainders in different ways. If I ran my check for it, it would have been 16 times 4. 4 times 6 is 24. 4 regroup the 2. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 2 is 6. And 64 and 3 does give us 67.